Hi kids, we are going to learn how to draw a butterfly today. I want to tell you you need a piece of paper, like what's in front of me. You need a pencil with an eraser. It can be mechanical or just a regular pencil, okay? You need something to color with, either crayons or color pencils, okay? Today I'm probably going to use color pencils. You also don't have to have, but if you have a Sharpie, especially a black one, uh, that would be nice. If it's not a Sharpie, it can definitely be a colored uh, marker, but preferably black. Okay, now typically I would draw first with a pencil, but today I'm going to draw with my marker so that you can see this very well. And don't forget, I've had lots of practice on drawing, especially butterflies, because I love butterflies. You should have listened to the video and read along with the book, 10 Magic Butterflies, before you do this, okay? So the first thing you're gonna do is draw a circle doesn't have to be perfect that certainly isn't a perfect circle but if you draw with the pencil first and you don't like it you can erase until you get it to the way you like it you can also use money like a quarter or a penny to trace okay so now we next we want to do the body so the body is like an oval or a hot dog. So everyone take time now to draw that oval. Alright, next I'm going to give him a smiley face. some antennas. Now these antennas can be straight or a little curved like mine and I like to put a little circle at the top. Okay now once you've done that we're going to add the wings and I want you to think about the fact that whatever's on one side it should be the same on the other side. Okay so the first, and I want you to think that each wing is going, I'm just putting little dots there to show you that that half of this hot dog shape will be one wing and the other half will be another wing. So watch what I do. I'm going to start at the neck and I'm going to make a half circle. And obviously it's not a perfect half circle. It's kind of a half oval, isn't it? And I'm going to go to the bottom of my butterfly and make another half circle. Now one thing you might realize is that this is also the letter 3. I mean the number 3. <laughs> Excuse me. The number 3. So we can do a backwards number three on the other side, but you want to do one at a time, an oval, half oval, and a half oval. I'm not worried about it being totally perfect, okay? Now, now we want to decorate it, and we could do the letter three again if we want to and another letter three and on the other side a letter three and a letter three okay then if we want to we can make little circles inside to decorate it even more And 
then if you want to decorate the body, we'll do a pattern of stripes. And you could think about that pattern when you're coloring too. And there's my pretty butterfly. Now, let's say I'm, I'm going to do one more over here and I'm going to make the head up a little bit higher, make the body a little bit skinnier, and watch what I, I'm going to make my middle mark, now watch what I do with the wing this time. I'm going to wave it out. But the tricky thing is how do you keep it the same on both sides? Just do the best job you can. Look, mine's not perfect either. And I'm going to draw. So there's another butterfly. I'm going to draw eyes, a mouth, this one's going to have different kind of antennas kind of looking over to the side and let's see instead of doing uh, threes for a design this time I'm going to do teardrops so teardrop teardrop and maybe a big circle big circle and here I think I'm going to do a letter three and a letter three and then maybe another teardrop teardrop and a circle the body I'm going to keep to my stripe okay now it's time for coloring. So you can make your butterflies any colors you want, any colors at all, okay? And just have fun with coloring them in. Make, think about making patterns. So like here, kind of a red green pattern and then maybe in the body I'm going to do something like a pattern of blue oops that would be too soon so I'm going to do blue on a different green blue orange red blue orange red blue orange and there's no place for red but that's okay right maybe on this side I want to keep it symmetrical so I'm going to go with my red on top like I did over here and red on top like I did here and that means I'm going to do my green on the bottom because I'm keeping everything that's on one side the same on the other and this time I'm trying to just go fast so that you can see it finished now when I draw the head I want it kind of light so I can see the face. And the body, I finally will use, I think I'm going to use yellow for the body. So what? 
The thing that's nice about yellow is I can kind of go over all the other colors. It's the beauty of color pencils. I love color pencils. They're one of my favorite mediums to use. What is a medium? It's a type of way to do art. Pencil is a medium, paint is a medium, colored pencil is a medium. I love colored pencils. So there's one of my butterflies colored and now I'm ready to do something different with my other magical butterfly. I hope you all have a great summer. I am going to keep putting up artwork, uh, art projects and artwork for you to see on the Google Classroom so you can go there anytime and look for more things and more projects to do this summer. So have fun, and I can't wait to see you next time. Bye.